Welcome back. Now let's consider the motivation for edge computing. So uh, nowadays we can really conclude that uh, cloud is a de facto solution whenever we need to compute and store data at scale. But if we look at the recent application that span from the Internet of Things to vehicle to vehicle communication to augmented reality and so on, uh, actually the focus is not only on uh, the scale of this computation, but the focus has shifted to other aspects like, uh, for example, we need to serve uh, requests in real time. Uh, moreover, with this kind of advanced uh, application, I mean, if you think, for example, to the next generation smart glass where I'm running an augmented reality application, then people move. Uh, and moreover, uh, people need also context awareness. And the reason why is that I would like to explore the best the computational devices that are near to me on one side of whenever actually I can all even change the device, right? I mean, my client device, because for example, if I'm uh, using an application on, on my mobile phone, whenever I reach my office, I would like to switch and to use uh, uh, my desktop workstation actually. But actually, there is a, a key limitation that doesn't allow the cloud to support uh, this novel application. The key limitation is the uh, wide area network, uh, which actually introduces a huge latency. So uh, this latency is not uh, compliant with the requirement of this novel application. So for example, if we consider a SLAM application, which stands for Simultaneous Localization and Mapping, this kind of, of, of application have a 50 millisecond time, concern, uh, time constraint. And these are I mean, the, the latency which is introduced to wider network between the end device of user and the cloud data center uh, actually is such that uh, we cannot implement uh, this novel application in this way. Uh, if we look at the market, actually there is a huge interest uh, in uh, uh, the adoption of edge computing which is uh, actually driven by uh, Internet of Things. Uh, these are some uh, recent data, early January 2023, um, by our uh, IDC partner. Uh, actually, there is a huge growth of uh, Internet of Things devices. Uh, this will be driven actually by industry because we'll have several sensors that uh, will be installed on machines and industrial tools. Uh, uh, and actually this set of uh, devices will really uh, provide a very huge, um, very huge data sets, which usually are a are, 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 are stream of, uh, of data that are produced continuously. And uh, actually, if we look at the market, there is a, a huge growth both in Europe and uh, in, uh, in North America and China. And if we do want to consider another um, information provider, actually these are, uh, these, uh, these predictions are consistent uh, and probably is in Asia where the growth will be uh, more significant. Uh, so um, which are the cloud limitations? Currently the cloud is uh, the preferred deployment solution for e-commerce site and uh, uh, traditional applications, but if we really consider new application where a lot of devices uh, uh, produce a lot of data and uh, the performance really matter and the performance cannot be sustained just uh, on the shoulder of the cloud provider and the data transfer uh, latency is too high and, uh, and can really foster uh, the implementation of application, cloud is not enough and is uh, for what concerns the network is not really a matter only of the latency, but really cloud application require a continuous connectivity to the cloud backend. Uh, moreover, there are some, uh, some other concerns that are really relevant in Europe, for example, uh, the lack of data control on one side and uh, uh, the vendor lock-in on the other side. Actually, within our project, we have dev developed solutions that allow to mitigate these, uh, these issues, as we will see in the next part of this course. And so what's the solution? The solution is really to implement edge computing, uh, whose core idea is very simple, is, uh, is actually to add an intermediate layer 
with, uh, where we plug uh, computational capacity and also uh, storage network facilities and so on in a way that we can run uh, our, some application components at least on uh, these edge devices in a way that we can really offload the computation from the cloud and run application closer where the data are generated. So in this way, really, we can uh, reduce latency. Uh, we can uh, uh, implement real-time application uh, request handling, uh, at least for a subset of, of requests, the one that really matter for, for the application. And moreover, in this way, it's so easier. Since this technology um, is uh, really integrated, it can be easily integrated with uh, uh, 5G technology, we have uh, some mobile edge cloud, for example, which are sp uh, solutions that are spe specific for uh, and benefit uh, by 5G uh, networks. Uh, so in this way, really, we can implement this uh, novel application. Just to have an example, uh, I bring you this uh, maintenance and inspection application that has been developed within uh, our project. Uh, so the application is uh, is, a tra is a I mean is an application is an application where the goal is uh, to have an automated processing of the pictures that are taken on some wind farm in a way that uh, uh, the damages the cracks on the wind on on, on, on the wind farm can be uh, automatically detected. Uh, so in at the beginning of our project, uh, the solution of our own industry partner was a cloud application. Uh, that required actually the, the core limitation was the following uh, as you expect uh, if uh, we find we find some cracks uh, uh, on the blade uh, actually usually we need to take more picture um, to, uh, to have enough information to have um, to properly classify the, ma the severity of the damage uh, and so what happened was the following usually uh, an operator was going to the site, uh, was taking a picture, uh, was coming back with a picture that were uh, uploaded on the cloud, and then um, they have uh, to be processed, they were processed in batches actually. And then what happened was the following, whenever uh, some uh, issues were uh, on the file on some blades, the operator had to go back on site uh, to, to take these additional pictures. And as you expect, some, 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 these are, I mean, uh, this wind farm might be also located in, in the middle of the ocean, for example. Uh, th that's a really a, a critical thing. Uh, whatever our par industry partner we did we, during, uh, during our, our project is was to um, uh, evolve the application in a way that they can really run uh, on the edge. And so uh, this application actually is built by a, a complex pipeline and some components run directly on, on the drone that is taking a picture. Part of the component um, uh, run within the laptop of uh, the operator that is the pilot of the drone. And so the processing is split into part because, uh, for example, for what concern the quality assessment of the picture, so if the picture is not blurred, and so the I mean the relevant part of the blade on focus uh, or the the image taken is not too dark or is not uh, uh, burned actually uh, then this part run uh, this part of, our, of the application run directly on the drone part on the laptop of, of the pilot uh, and some other part uh, like the, the, the most advanced uh, um, AI models that are able to uh, detect the damage and uh, in particular to uh, really classify the, sever uh, the severity of the damage then are still run uh, as uh, the, the reporting part, I mean with this application also uh, our industry partner generates automatically some report that then are, uh, uh, are given to their customer. Uh, this second, uh, this uh, second part of, uh, of, of the application actually run, uh, run in the cloud. So that's a really an example of, uh, uh, of uh, uh, an application, an AI application that can really benefit from um, uh, the execution of uh, the application component in uh, computing, uh, in computing continuum. Uh, so that's the summary of the characteristic that uh, uh, 
or the benefits that uh, edge computing bring. Uh, so really edge computing by introducing uh, additional computational capacity in between where the data are generated uh, on the end user devices and, and the cloud makes the cloud uh, truly distributed uh, by delivering actually local storage computational network. Uh, in this way, really the cloud services and the cloud technology, which is, uh, I mean, edge computing is still based on virtualized solution, is still based on contain containers that run on these edge devices, uh, allow really to uh, bring uh, cloud services uh, uh, closer to where the data are generated. And in this way, the edge computing can, can mimic the, the cloud platform capa capabilities. And the final benefits are really the reduction of the latency uh, of requests, uh, which is, is obtained by avoiding the round trip of requests back and forth from the edge to the cloud. So thanks for your attention.